Well, good morning. It's Ben with Pacific Northwest Used Mobile Homes, and we're going to do a, a newsletter reading. Winter Energy Saving Tips is today's newsletter uh, brought to you by Pacific Northwest Used Mobile Homes. Keeping your manufactured home warm and your energy bills low. Uh, something we all try to do with manufactured homes, I'm sure. Um, keeping every bit of that energy in can be imperative. So uh, as winter chill begins to settle in, ensuring your manufactured home stays warm and cozy is a top priority. But keeping your home comfortable doesn't have to come at the cost of skyrocketing energy bills. In this edition of our newsletter, we'll share valuable tips and strategies to help you save energy while staying warm during the winter months. And if it sounds or looks like I'm reading this off of a newsletter script, it's exactly what I'm doing. And you can find and follow along with it on our website or anywhere on our social media as well. Um, proper installation is for, proper installation for efficiency. Okay, tip. Check and upgrade insulation. Proper insulation is the foundation of an energy efficient home. Here's what you can do. One, inspect for any gaps and holes in your home's insulation, especially around the windows and the doors. Two, you could seal any of these gaps that you find with weather stripping and caulking, of course. Uh, three, check your floor insulation to ensure it is in good condition. Consider adding more insulation or replacing it if needed. Uh, certainly, you may find some rotten insulation. If you do, check for water leaks and replace and fix any wood around that as well. Pro tip. Insulate any unprotected areas like crawl spaces and walls. Uh, foam board works great. Those one or two inch foam boards, those insulator boards are awesome. Uh, think about upgrading to insulated skirting to keep your home's crawl space warmer during the winter. There's all kinds of different insulated skirting that you can find on our website, www.pnwumh.com, that uh, on there we have mobile home parts, and you can buy all kinds of mobile home parts right there, like concrete skirting, all kinds of insulated skirting, different, different kinds of skirting. Um, efficient heating and thermostat control, of course. Tip, use a programmable thermostat. Uh, efficient heating goes a long way in energy savings. Here's how to maximize your heating system. Install a programmable thermostat to maintain a consistent temperature. Lower it when you are away or asleep to reduce heating costs. Another great way to reduce heating costs on a talk of thermostats is to put one of those little boxes on it with a lock so that nobody in your house can turn it up past 62. Anyway, that might have just been my dad. I don't know. Okay, moving on. Number three, weatherproofing your home. Tip, sealed drafts around windows and doors. We kind of heard, went over that a little bit. Uh, you can do it with caulking, uh, weather stripping. If there are large gaps, you should probably look at reframing or something like that. But, uh, uh, don't let cold drafts sneak in. Take these steps. Apply weather stripping or caulking around your windows and doors to seal gaps. Use heavy drapes or shades to keep warm, inside, warm air inside and cold air out. Now you can use uh, that foam that sprays, that expand a foam. That stuff is pretty great for filling. We, when we used to put mobile homes, we put them together. You can fill, fill the gaps with those and then board over and Tie back paper and all that. So that stuff's really great for fulfilling those things. Um, plumbing preparations. Tip. Insulate your pipes. Preventing frozen pipes is essential during winter. Here's what you can do. Uh, wrap exposed water pipes with insulation sleeves. Allow faucets to drip slowly to keep water flowing. Reducing the risk of frozen pipes. Uh, you know, that's a... That's a mm, Maybe, you know, it also can create uh, huge issues in septic systems if you have septic systems. So leaving water running just because. But anyway, drain any water appliances according to the manufacturer's instructions. Um, naturally, I'm going to throw in here. I don't see it, but I'm going to throw it in here. The uh, um, heat lamps. I don't see it yet. So we're going to talk about heat lamps. Heat lamps are very helpful tool. You can get them at Ace Hardware. Your standard heat lamp and bulb for like 15, 17 bucks delivered to your house. Uh, 
uh, let's see, crawl under there, make sure that there, there's no uh, buildup of cobwebs or any funky stuff going on with that. Make some chicken wire. You can put chicken wire on the bottom of the heat lamp in that there's a, there's a four prong net thing that goes on there. It's like a catcher. So the lights, sometimes those lights break, ting, they just break, ting, they fall. And that thing's designed to catch that glass and protect it from anything from hitting the bulb. Well, you can put that chicken wire around there, and then when your bulb breaks, uh, if it breaks into several pieces, which sometimes it often does, it will catch it, almost all the glass, because it just breaks into several large pieces. It catches all the glass, and then you, what you don't want is 250-degree uh, glass falling on your um, anything, quite frankly, underneath your home. So, <laughs> so, so you have it. Uh, there's a pro tip on that. So let's see. Drain any water, blah, blah, blah. Energy efficient lighting. Upgrade to LED bulbs. Eh, you could do that. Uh, uh, incandescent bulbs are better for your health. Uh, you could update to LED for saving some money if you're interested in that. Um, regular maintenance. Tip. Keep your heating system in top shape. Yes. You know what? Four days ago, I had to spend some pretty good money with uh, the boys over at Campbell and Company. I think is what it's called. And they actually did a good job, and I was happy to have them. They came out the same day and got it done. The heater had like seven burned wires, and a, it blew a breaker and the whole nine over there. So inspect those often. You know, this stuff gets old. That's just the way it goes. But if you inspect it every year, we just bought that house, put it in the thing, and uh, should have got it inspected. There you have it. Um, a well-maintained heating system operates more efficiently. Yes, it does. Here's how. Schedule an annual inspection. Oh, somebody was just talking about that. And cleaning of your furnace by a professional. Okay. Like Campbell and Company. Change the filter regularly to ensure optimal airflow. Clean your heating system ducts and vents to keep the warm air flowing smoothly. Agreed with that. Uh, by following these energy-saving tips, you can enjoy a warm and comfortable winter without the worry of high energy bills and uh, some fire hazards, likely, if you don't do some of those things properly. Winterizing your manufactured home is a smart investment that pays off both in comfort and savings. Stay warm, stay cozy, stay tuned. For more valuable tips and insights from Pacific Northwest, use mobile homes. So, pro tip, uh, we have a sister company, and it's called AlternativeHomePros.com, and you should check that out if you need to have a manufactured home moved, transported, uh, anything like that. Quite frankly, any type of, type of alternative home, uh, a yurt, even, you know, whatever, a dome home, anything kind of like that, but uh, we specialize in manufactured homes here, so that's kind of the, uh, the gist of it. Uh, we have a, a, a handful, I don't know, 20 different uh, very good uh, manufactured home transport companies on our website, and we'd be happy to share them with you. So come see them at alternativehomepros.com, alternativehomepros.com. Your dream awaits at pnwumh.com. If your dream is to own a used manufactured home, perhaps move it on to land, maybe you're going to put it into a park, you're getting some freedom, some individuality, maybe you're downsizing, maybe you hit hard times and you're downsizing. Maybe you hit good times and you're downsizing, finally retiring. Who knows? All the kids are out of the nest now. You're looking for a little single wide like this 1997 Fleetwood over in Twisp, Washington that I have right now that is uh, cherry. So get over to my website and check it out, www.pnwumh.com. Uh, anyway, have a great day and keep on buying and selling manufactured homes with PNW Used Mobile Homes. Get at us. We got the goods.